How's it going, Lance? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. So I guess we could talk about the road trips. I mean, you guys went everywhere, like Carolina and then Puerto Rico. So how are you feeling physically now? Puerto Rico then Carolina. No, it's good. You know, I don't think I, I don't think I contracted the Zika virus, which is good. <laughs> no, um, no, it was good. It, it was, uh, it was a long trip for sure. Um, it's a lot of mileage, but that's part of the job, you know, and it's a blessing to be able to go to those places and, and see those places. But it, Puerto Rico was both those, both those games are so humid in both those games, very hot. And Puerto Rico has a really heavy field with grass, grass pitch, heavy field. So I think guys were heavy in that one. And it was, uh, it was a long road trip where, you know, it's, it's frustrating to get, to get the draws. I think we had five draws in a row. Um, three of those I think have been zero, zero. So I think it's frustrating, but, um, I think you have to, you like, you have to take take positives away from some of them and say that, you know, our defense is, is performing, Pies is performing, our back three, five, whatever is performing. Um, now it's just about trying to get those goals, you know, trying to get guys running into those forward positions and um, getting that final pass a little bit better, a little bit sharper, and and uh, hopefully we can we can start putting them away. And speaking of Pies there, I think you've played every position except his this season. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, no, I how think. How is that, you know, like being known as the utility guy, how, how does that feel? You know, it's... I don't like being known as the utility guy. Um, it's it, it's it's a blessing to be healthy and to be able to play. I and mean, that's the first uh, that's first and foremost. Uh, my body's held up well, but you know I'm obviously I'm a center midfielder, and, and that's that's my natural position. But you do what you can to help the team win. And we, like I said, we've had injury after injury this year. So there's been times I've had to fill in spots that you know I wouldn't prefer to fill in. But that's part of the job. You have to do. You have to do what you can for the team. So you came over from Austin uh, with a couple other guys as well, uh, mm -hmm. Mozzie and Fernando, mm -hmm. um, uh, also head coach uh, Paul Dogwish mm -hmm. as well. Uh, how did that help you in the very beginning in the spring season to kind of see a couple familiar faces on the team? It's always good to to know a couple guys on the team because it's it's always a trend. You always to get used to a new team, whole new group of guys. I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, it, it's tough coming into to a new environment like that and to a new you know my family to a new country and. Um, uh, but it, it was huge because Mosey's one of my best friends and Timbo's a very good guy and you know Paul and I have a good relationship so it was uh, very very nice to, to have those familiar faces and to kind of know kind of what Paul is thinking at times and, and kind of how he likes to play and how he likes to do things and um, so that was uh, very very nice to, to have those guys and, and to be able to have those uh, close friends. Was the weather a shock when you first came here? Yeah it was difficult in February when the weather was <laughs> an absolute nightmare uh going from texas to ottawa in february i just don't i probably don't recommend that to, to many people but um it, it's 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 you know it's with a family with a young family it's sometimes it's tough to transition you know and um a wife who likes to be on the go often and you're kind of shut in you can't really do much at first it's it's a tough transition but we have, you know, we're very blessed to be in the city. We like the city. We enjoy the city. Once we got used to it, once we got a month under our belt, and once preseason was over, um, it was. It's been. It's been very good to us, and, and we're very happy to be here. And we enjoy the city. I mean, it's 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 a nice city. Things to do, especially in the summer. The canal is beautiful. Um, a lot of places to walk. We live in Italy, little Italy, so we have a lot of nice places to eat around there. So, uh, the city's been good to us so far. <clears throat> and just around TD Place here with the OSEG and the fans, you just kind of get like a very family-friendly environment. Yeah. Uh, did you get that sense right away? Absolutely, yeah. And it's pff, Lansdowne's on a great area. It really is one of the best areas we've, you know, Chris and I were talking about it. You know, my wife and I were talking about it a few weeks ago. It's one of the best areas. You walk around, like it's it's fantastic. And the people around here, Canadian people, you know, so nice, <laughs> so friendly. No, but uh, it's it, it's it's a great area, uh, great organization to be a part of. Um, great fans, and uh, and hopefully we can uh, get a few wins for those fans. And of course, a very long season with the spring and fall combined. Uh, what sort of things do you do to keep yourself in shape physically, but also mentally as well? Well, I think it's first blessing from God that I've stayed, you know, that I've stayed healthy, and that's the first and foremost. That's that's kind of what I um, what I realize, what I'm thankful for. But it's it's like you got to take care of your body every day. I mean, it's. I, I get a nap every day, usually, <laughs> generally speaking, which is huge. So my wife allows me to take a nap in the afternoon, uh, which is huge. But also, I think it's just 
stretching after training, ice bathing after training, and then every night I uh, try to warm the body up a little bit, get a stretch before I go to bed, um, and drinking, hydration, you know, all those things uh, come into play. And um, I think a huge thing is uh, working very, very hard in training, kind of breaking your body down, um, because I believe it, it makes it in the long run, it makes it stronger. Like you're able to, to go longer in games. Those last 10 minutes of, you know, those back to back 90 minute games, you know, it, it allows you to kind of push through it. And, you know, your body just becomes, I think, used to it and becomes stronger. And uh, like I said, been blessed to, to have, a, have a healthy season so far. We'll see, uh, we'll see how the, the last eight games go, but I've been very blessed. A rough spell of kind of five games, a lot of draws, but not kind of the, the points that you'd want. Um, what are you, some of the things you guys are trying to do in the training sessions to get over that hump and uh, finally get those three points? I think it's just, you just want, I think it's just about going out there to win every single game we play. Like, and you take it a game at a time. Like, you know, we, you know, you have to almost essentially win out, right? To, to, to have a chance at it or close to it. Um, but we can't think about that. I think it's just about trying to get better with each performance and trying to start turning these draws into wins and um, finishing the, at the highest point in the table that we can. You know, I mean, you want to, if you can't finish top four, you want to finish, you know, try to get that fifth spot or that sixth spot and see, you know, see how far we can push it. That's, that's the biggest thing that we need. I think we need guys willing to run forward, willing to get in the box, um, willing to, to try, you know, willing to try to be that hero for us. You know, that, that one moment of brilliance that, you know, that gets us a goal, gets us two goals. You know, we need that um, from, from from all of us really from all those guys in the attacking end you're only 27 years old but you have had a long career in soccer uh, you had a bit of a rough spell when you're with dc united uh how difficult was it coming back from that major injury and what what did you learn from that it was tough it was tough because you know i had just i was a rookie i i had just been signed uh we were in uh we were in los angeles um i was on the bench the 18 against the galaxy when beckham and donovan were there one of the midfielders actually one of the midfielders one of our midfielders went down, told me to warm up, just absolutely terrified because he got Beckham and Donovan, didn't, didn't get in, but I was like, you know, part of me was like, hey, you know, you know, but no, uh, it, you know, and then the next game we, we were going to play in Vancouver and I was supposed to start that game and training tore my ACL and you're out for basically an entire year. It's, it's, it's tough, but I, you know, I could, it's frustrating. I think about it sometimes it's just frustrating, but I, it's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. And I met my wife in that time that I was out and that I was hurt. And um, so I look back on it, it was, it humbled me. Like, a, you know, arrogant college guy coming out of that, you know, playing well, you know, gonna start games as a rookie, you know, it, it humbled me and um, it probably allowed me to become, you know, honestly, a better man. So it, it, I, yeah, frustrating from a soccer perspective. Um, but as a, as a human being perspective, it was the best thing that happened to me. And I've saved my hardest question for last. Um, I was speaking with Mazi Jorio last week while you guys were in Puerto Rico, and he was telling me he was looking after your dog while you were away on the lengthy road trip. So you can be <laughs> honest with me on this one. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate Mazi's dog babysitting abilities? Uh, that's a difficult question uh, because my dog is a psycho. So really, I'm going to give him, honestly, I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a 10 for the effort. V put in a lot of effort with that dog. He did not succeed in taking care of her at all, but I'm going to give him a 10 for the effort because I don't think anybody could deal with her. I don't think any person on this earth is equipped to deal with that dog outside of myself and my wife. So I give him a 10 for effort and I appreciate it. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. Lance, well, thank you so much. We appreciate the time and best of luck for your career. Uh, thanks very much. Thanks for having me.